are you? My name is George, also known as That One Scottish Guy, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I am here to amaze you with my super duper pro skills. Yeah, because that's how it's went so far, isn't it? Yep. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we are back in the undead settlement. The only thing that I've done since um, last speaking to you was um, I went back to... What did I do? I went back to um, Firelink Shrine and I um, attuned the magic weapon spell. That is what I've done. I haven't done any leveling up, even though I should probably have. Uh, before I die and lose all my collected souls. So our aim uh, for this video is to uh, make it through to one of the other bonfires which is in this area. And um, that will set us up nicely for going on to take on the boss. Backstabs Galore, that is the name of the day. The name of the game and the word of the day. I've not had a word, in a, day, uh, a word of the day for a while. The last word of the day I had was uh, bulbous, wasn't it? Bulbous. Such a fun word to say. What can my word of the day today be? Um, I think we'll go with... Annoying Bastard Cat. Because that is exactly what I have. Just to the right of me. She is. If you can see the mess behind me, um, my office stroke orifice uh, stroke spare bedroom has pretty much been uh, used as a, a storage room uh, this week because we are actually uh, decorating one of the rooms in the house so all the junk, not all the junk, but all the, the stuff has just been kind of shoved into this room and I have the pleasure of its uh, company. Yay! I love kicking people off the edge of cliffs. And, yep, so my orifice is full of black bags. And because this is all new to the cat, she's um, exploring her surroundings and being very annoying. That guy usually aggroes. If you saw me snapping the camera uh, behind me after fighting that last guy, I was actually looking for him. Because uh, he's usually already running towards me and I didn't actually realise where he actually spawns from, where he comes from rather, because he's usually just chasing after me with his big pitchfork going Rah! That was such a flattering um, face I've just done there. I don't know why I've done that, I just kind of felt like it. And that is as good a reason to do something as any, isn't it? Because you felt like it. These little I always call them thieves, but uh, because they're kind of wearing the same kind of attire as the the thief. Um, oh, we've not actually went back and spoke to him yet. I'll need to do that. Remind me to do that because um, he asked us to give a ring to an old woman named Loretta, but we've actually found one of her bones and she's a bit dead. So yeah, we can't give the bone to. Uh, we can't give. Uh, Loretta, the... there's a lot of dead bodies around here, isn't there? Um, we haven't... we can't give her a ring because she's dead! And that is as good a reason as any not to be able to give somebody a ring. See, this game is just so logical. This uh, enemy over here is just gross. It's just a big cage of writhing corpses, pretty much is the best way to describe that. Plenty of charcoal resin in this area. All these bodies can be cut down, but there's really no need to do so. Unless there is an item attached to it. But if there was an item attached to any of them, they would be glowing. I can't remember what... Um, yeah, I can't remember what ones of these uh, cages actually um, 
attack you, but you can lock on to them to find out. This guy has glowing red eyes. Sorry, buddy. I almost messed up there uh, by attacking too early, but I didn't get punished for it too much. It does not open from this side. Do, 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 do. That is... I don't know what that is, but I don't want to know. I've been doing a lot of recording today. Um, I've actually recorded a couple of episodes of uh, Enter the Gungeon right before I started recording this. So yeah, I've been a very busy boy, and um, to celebrate my good achievements, I've got a little vanilla latte. Or posh coffee, is um, what I would usually call it. It's, um, that cat is really doing my head in, she keeps... She's got this thing about chewing plastic bags. And because we've just filled this room with plastic bags, she's in like absolute heaven just now. Got to watch, yeah, there it comes now, that uh, big woman up there is using hexes. So we've got to avoid them when they come in. And this little room has some interesting glowing plants growing out the floor. I wasn't really, yeah, I wasn't really what a ow, uh, aggro both of these guys, especially with the hexes fuzzing about my ear as well. These guys always remind me of Bloodborne, it's almost like they've been lifted directly out of Bloodborne, isn't it? They've got that uh, same kind of look. Oh, you beggar. I got a really itchy nose there, which kind of hampered my super performance. Back, no, didn't manage the backstab, which is a bit embarrassing because I was in the middle of saying backstab for you, and there wasn't a backstab for him. Not at all. Those hexes are really annoying because they do follow you into buildings. Do you know what? Do you know what I have and I've just not been making use of it? My bow. Well. Ow. I'm trying, um to take care of her and not aggro that uh, guy with a big massive hammer. Good lord. Right. Oh! <laughs> Jings! I didn't actually think that hex was as close to me there. I thought I could have made it. That was silly. Silly me. It'll not take me too long to get back there. Hopefully. All going well. Uh, let's rest at the bonfire just to repair our sword. And let's go. I know that I, I did say when I was first doing the Let's Play that I would probably skip any backtracking, but I think I'll just keep it in because I want to give you my full um, Dark Souls experience, which is uh, one of failure and despair, and I want you to... to <laughs> Get the full effects of that despair. I want you to suffer with me. Oh, jeez. Oops. 
Well, that's good. I'm going to have about 10 of those guys down there now. I actually ran out of stamina while attacking him there, so it made it look a lot worse. Um, made it look as if I was doing a lot worse than what I was. Because if you haven't noticed, I'm actually really good at this game. <laughs> I'm not as bad as what I say I am, am I? I like to think I've got a little bit of uh, self-deprivating uh, humour. I can make fun of myself, is what I'm saying. I think I'm quite good at that. Because everybody else does it anyway. <laughs> Woe is me! Pity me! Pity me! Come on! A very brutal lady, but a lady. How annoying would it be? Oh! I was just in the middle of saying, how annoying would it be to die on the way back to my 5,000 souls? Because I didn't level up at uh, Firelink Shrine because I was saying to myself, fuck it, we no bother, I'll not need to. Because we'll be doing super good. And all that. And then it turns out we're not doing super good, we're actually doing super terrible. Super duper terrible. Oops. There was me talking about um, seeing items on these guys and there I missed one. You can actually get into there. This is uh, quite an important room if you want to join the Sun Bros. Uh, you actually get the Covenant in there and you drop into it from that doorway that I keep going to and then turning back. Where well, these guys were standing, basically. Star that I was looking for. Ah, and you are dead, my friend. Well, I suppose you're not really going to want to be friends with me after that, are you? That was a terrible attack. Did you see that? I wonder why that didn't do much damage. Right, take two. This horrible bit. get this guy out the way of those. And this guy. That hex got me in the back. It's that... Ooh! Forgot about you. It's that laugh that that hexer does that's just horrible. So I think I'm going to want to go out here and actually aggro the big guy with the hammer. Let's get him up here. If he'll come. Come on, big guy. That hex was desperate to get me there. So now I can deal with her without worrying about him, because he was my main concern actually, and then I ended up dying to the, the he <coughs> excuse me, the Hexer. Right, 
Those hexes are so annoying, aren't they? Right, you. This needs to stop. That is such a, a big club she is using for such a dainty woman. That enemy actually really reminds me of, um, do you remember the, the enemies in Demon Souls that kind of looked like the Fat Controller from Thomas the Tank? Um, fat Official, I think they were called in the game. Yeah, that woman really reminds me of them. And they laughed at you as well. Maybe that's um, what it is about them. So there I have a, another Titanite Shard. I think I've got enough now to uh, upgrade this weapon to the next stage. So I will do that. Um, I can't remember which way the bonfire is. Let's see. Right, if I am where I think I am, yeah, yeah, I am where I think I am. So there's a bonfire there. A sharp gem. Wonderful. And we got there. So that's us at the next bonfire. And look at my lady, she's all goldy. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Firelink Shrine, and I will level up. And I'll see about upgrading my sword as well. Well, I take a, a sip on my vanilla latte. Which is very nice. And my cup says, Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Quite an ironic cup for someone with narcolepsy, but there you are. Who am I to judge? Ah, well met. Tis good to see ye. What needs smithing this? My sword. I actually need to get myself a really cool cup. Eh, I need, I need one more. Pretty be careful, I don't want oh, Andre. You're useless. Um, yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, I need to get myself a, a cool cup, like a Pokemon cup or something. Uh, Tokyo Toys actually opened up in Glasgow uh, last weekend and I meant to go to their, their opening. But something came up and I didn't manage to get along. Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I forgot to level up again. Bear with me. I'll tell my Tokyo Toy story. Yeah, um, they opened up a new store in Glasgow last weekend. And it's apparently their biggest store uh, that they've got yet. And um, I really wanted to go to the opening. But something came up and I've just not managed up to Glasgow uh, since. But um, yeah, I would like to go and get myself some cool stuff. Like a cup. And, and and other cool stuff. Maybe they'll have Pokemon trading cards. I don't know. I'll need to have a look. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Fallen Knight Trousers. <laughs> a knight whose trousers have fallen down. Welcome home, I'm here all week. Very well. Level up. I will take nourishment. Where is that cat going to now? I don't know. She's around here somewhere. Uh, Vigor and uh, Endurance. I was wanting to... I don't like leaving stats at 13 because it feels unlucky. Um, so before I want, uh, want to... Before I start focusing on Intelligence and Entunement, I do want to get my... Uh, Vigor and uh, Endurance up to 20 uh, and then I'll start worrying about Dex as well. But Dex, um, most of my damage is going to come from weapon upgrades. I'm not too fussed about the the thingy my bobbies. Thingy my bobbies. The, I'm not too bothered about the, the Dex bonuses. I'm more interested in getting the, the weapons leveled up. I don't even know what weapon I'm going to use as my main. I haven't really thought that uh, far ahead. Neither have. 
I'm just winging it pretty much. I'm just, um, how long have we been at this actually? We've been at this for 20 minutes. We'll give it another 10, shall we? Or until I die. So, two minutes. Uh, can't go that way. I can unlock that uh, shortcut later. Oh, I'm about to get invaded actually by quite a tough enemy. Maybe. Maybe I've got to be embled to get invaded by him. That big guy is keen and he has a, a shield on his back so you can't backstab him. But it pays to be round the back to avoid his attacks anyway. There we are. And I don't remember much about this bit at all. I know this, yeah, this is uh, leading up to the boss actually. So it is. So it is. Do you know what? I don't actually want to be at this bit yet. Because I've done this in this order the last time. And apparently it's the wrong order to do it in, kind of thing. There's a better order of doing it in. Um, so yeah. I don't think there's any way that I can reach where I want to be from here. Just now, I'll have a little sniff around and see. But I can't imagine there will be. Because I want to be around the other side of that hill, basically. Yeah, that's the sewers that I get. Yeah. Alright, I'll have a little look around here. But I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Not the wrong area, but uh, just the wrong part of the area. I want to be somewhere else. But um, let's have a look up here. And just uh, explore a little bit. Can't actually go in there, we're up there. Oh well, that's disappointing. Is there anything else to do at this bit? I cannot remember. Let's have a little look around and just see. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to end this episode here and when we pick off I'll clear out the other uh, part of this area and then we'll worry about the boss uh, then. Anyway, thanks very much for watching guys. Bye bye!